I'm not even going to do a warm up. You're going to see me. You're going to see how I play from from the very first moment. You're going to love it. That wasn't very good. Shit. It's quite nice for us, I think. Ooh. No! Ah, luckily our friend there was on it. people saw that. No. I think I might even have scored that. Oh, I did. I did. I scored it. Oh. Damn it. That wouldn't have done anything even if I had hit it. There we go. Snooker. Snooker them. how dumb uh, I was when I started playing this game. Whenever I saw the words defending, I thought it meant defending. Come on now, guys. I thought it was like a diss. I didn't realize it meant I am defending. <laughs> no! That was a very nicely angled shot. Oh. This guy on goals there. Get around, get around, get around. Ugh. Ugh. No, 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 no. That. I love that clearance. Come on, come on, come on. No. Yes. Hey, Artie. <laughs> oh, man. Artie, if I knew it was going to be so hard, maybe we should rethink it because... Can't be getting you to do all this work for free. But my god, your edit of that last one was sweet! Oof. Yeah, you, you got the nail biter. You go either way. Oh good, I'm glad you think so. It's nice, isn't it? I, 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 hello, Sebastian. Um, it, it, it's nice the way you can edit those videos, that kind of Magdalene Vern style. You know, 
I wonder uh, how, you know, she just obviously just took out all the ums and ahs, you know? Oh no! Oh, that was, that was bad. That was really bad. And it just flows, doesn't it? It's a lovely flow, you know? It really helps. God damn it, no! Yeah. But it's natural. It feels natural as well. Smooth and choppy, yeah, yeah. Sorry, to those uh, w listening on, we're, we're talking about a video, an interview that uh, Artie is very kindly editing for me. Ah! Every time I talk about this stuff, it <laughs> they want to forfeit. No! There's two goals! Anyway, Artie's out doing an edit for me, and uh, uh, it's really good. It's about prisons. You're going to see a lot about prisons this week. Um, and uh, I've got an incredible interview about it. Ooh. Anyway, I, I'm going to stop talking about gender critical stuff. <laughs> God damn it. Hey! Hey! I really want to get one of those goal celebrations, but I, it seems impossible. I have no idea how these guys get them. All I've got is the regular five explosions you get at the start. It's very depressing. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! And no one's in goal because I'm not in goal! Oh, I'm so bad! I'm so bad! This is really bad. That was that wasn't smart. See that guy, that guy should just always stay in goals, he's great. Yes, yes, yes! Too hard! Oh too hard! They're gonna score again. Oh no! Come on now. There's a half a chance if we can score in the next. Ah! No. Oh. No. Yeah, we've lost it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, this is the warm up. I mean, this is literally the warm up. I did not play before this. And 4 6 isn't bad for a warm up. Okay, here comes the real game. A anyone out there? There's only seven to canvas from. When I was on Twitter, I ended. Uh, I went from eight hundred thousand followers to five hundred thousand when I started talking about uh, stuff that people found uncomfortable, and then um, uh, now I'm down to seven people on YouTube. <laughs> Um, but I'm wondering if anyone has played that game that just came up. What's it called? Uh, oh, God damn it. Hyper, Hyperscape. Because I'm a big fan of... Um, I'm a big fan of uh, uh, Battle Royale games. And I'm wondering if anyone else has played Hyperscape and if it's worth participating in. I don't really have time for... Uh, to devote myself to a new hobby. I had my Modern Warfare. It just took up too much space on the on the PS4. You know, I mean, I liked it well enough, but yeah, I'm, I'm not. I, yeah, I think I, I, I don't know. 
I, I think I, I find it very hard to play shooters, military shooters, apart from Rainbow Six. I, I find Rainbow Six is so good that I just, I just get hungry for that experience when I'm playing anything else. Bad angle. I mean, I did play it for a while, Warzone, and I, and I liked their Battle Royale as well, but it uh, just didn't take for me. I think it just takes up too much fucking room on the PS4 if it was a light little thing that ran alongside, like the way this is, you know, then I'd be up for it. But it's too fucking... And the gameplay doesn't really change with all these updates. It's just new skins, it seems to me. Although maybe I, I've got that completely wrong. I know they do new game modes and stuff. Oh! No! Wrong angle! Oh, shit! Sorry, excuse the language. Ah! That's not bad. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, you know, I had a, I had an Alienware computer, and it gave me the IT crowd, but it took away my love of PC gaming, because it never worked, and I had to see IT guys all the time, and it's what gave me the idea, yes, it's what gave me the idea for the show, was meeting all these guys, so it was a waste of money in one way, and in another way, it, it made me money. So after that, I just every time I sat down um, at a PC to play a game, I'd get PTSD <laughs> from remembering how often I'd be in the middle of something and it would freeze up, and I'd have to fucking call the guy again. Well, I didn't know how to, you know. I know people build their own PCs and stuff, but I don't, I don't do that. Yeah. I don't know if Hardy knows the story. Ah, no! Oh yeah, that was it. <laughs> I've told this story a few times, but maybe people don't know it. Um, but one of the inspirations for the IT crowd was... Uh, a guy who came to our house once to fix a computer and uh, he had spoken to me on the phone but he hadn't spoken to my wife and my wife answered the door and he said uh, instead of saying hello you know like a normal person he said uh, you're not Graham <laughs> you're not Graham and she said uh, no no I, I guess uh, I guess I'm not uh, come on in and I'll, I'll bring you up to him and she brought him up to him like computer screens died. Why is it died? Oh, it's back. Um, oh, no, it's gone again. Okay. Um, and so this guy, you know, kind of alienated my wife. And then and then he comes upstairs, and, and we're sitting together, and I'm always trying to make conversation and, and, and make sure he doesn't, can't see my browsing history. Oh, because I was a younger man at the time. <laughs> and um, and I said to him, why is it that you don't see more of you guys making house calls, you know? Why do you, uh, you know, because there weren't very many. It was always hard to kind of track them down. <laughs> Wait, here it is, Artie. It was always hard to kind of track these guys down. And I thought, why isn't there like a load of services? Like I, I, those, that, ooh, Geek Squad and all that sort of stuff, you know? Maybe they cornered the market, I don't know. But anyway, I said, why is this? And he says, they don't have the people skills. Because most people, most most people who work with computers, they don't have people skills. <laughs> this is a guy. You're not Graham. <laughs> Oops. I think that was one of my own guys. Not good. No.
<laughs> really? That's funny. Oh, shit balls. Oh, oh my god, that might go in. No. <laughs> you do, Artie. You're very charming. No, this is another warm-up game. Second warm-up. Oh, I don't know, already. I mean, I did. When I made IT Cloud, I was a big nerd fan, but I think there's a... I think there's a kind of a horrible thing going on at the moment where... People are manipulating other people online, and they're, you know, they're these kind of shy, awkward nerds, you know. And it's, I sometimes call it the revenge of the nerds, the real revenge of the nerds, you know. I'd write a very different IT crowd if I wrote it now. Oh, that sucked. That was terrible. Oh, all right. Teenage, you know, kids as well have always lacked empathy. You know, in fact, I believe there's a stage you go through. Uh, where you, you know, when you're about 16 or something like that, where you just don't have any empathy, <laughs> you know, like a natural part of puberty. Um, but, you know, there are some people who are not empathic people, empathic, empathic, empathic people, and they tend to burrow down into things like online worlds, online communities. I worry about them as well because I don't think the power they currently have is good for them. I don't think it's good for them and I don't think it's good for society. Ah, oh, shit! Hey! You know, everyone's going to come out damaged from it if we're not careful. Yeah, it really is. And it's, it's these tools that are making people bitter. I mean, I know the I know the um, uh, social dilemma was a bit simplistic. Yeah, yeah. This I was just saying it. There you go, great minds. Uh, it was a bit simplistic, but it kind of it, 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 it you know it's true. It's they're right. They're right. It's true. Oh my God, the first thing you learn when you're when you become a writer is is that uh, you have to find com the conflict. You have to create conflict. Because, because conflict is interesting. It's the first lesson, you know? Every scene is about someone who wants something and another person is trying to stop them from getting that thing they want. That's what scenes are about. And so this same conflict is now being given to us as if we're all actors in, in some fucking horrible nightmare Black Mirror episode. There's absolutely no reason for this conversation um, uh, around gender to be so toxic. There's no reason for it to be so toxic. So why is it so toxic? When you can earn for building, that place was a petri dish for the study of social neurosis. Oh my god, alright, we have to speak about that sometime, Hayden. I didn't know that. That's really interesting. I just thought it was a place where you could go into a virtual gap. <laughs> oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> yes. can, I can see why this is catching on. <laughs> oh 
can I nip it? No. Real life friends, Hayden. Oh, the Mormons thing? Oh my god. Uh, god damn it! You know, I, I genuinely can't remember the episode because I haven't watched it since I made it. I do remember that was a good idea and it worked. Oh yes, they were confused because he invited them in. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, those two guys were great as well. They were like from this uh, comedy group called the Universal Grinding Wheel. And I just thought they were brilliant. Really smart and, and odd and uh, going for something that no one else was going for. It was a great shame they never... Oh! It was a great shame they, they never had the success um, that others had, you know. Was it the fr first one? Is the first one the accounts one? I don't think so. Oh, maybe it is! Because Bill's an accountant. Yes, and he swallows the little book of calm. I remember, I remember. And he becomes super calm. That was a good, uh, I like that joke. First series, yeah, that was the only one I worked on. I didn't work on the second or third. I don't know, I can't remember what you're laughing at. Oh, yeah, the little book of calm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Can I get there? Can I get there? Oh, he got there. This is going okay, actually. Or key, if I remember to defend this time. Remember to rotate. That's in. Yay! <laughs> it's quite something. The brilliant thing about it is uh, when you read it, knowing that they kind of did we're trying to do it somewhat on the QT and so they just pack in everything they can you know including that I'm friends with Lindsay someone hilarious I apologize if I uh, misgendered that person at any point sorry I mean I apologize if I correctly sexed that person at any point. I can't do the air. Leave me alone on the air. I'm bad, on, I'm bad in the air. It would be great if this ended with, with one great air move. Look, maybe, maybe this is it. No, it's not. You see? I, even if I attempt it. That was a bit in the air, I guess. Oh, no. Whew. Nah. Hardy, please. Hardy, people are watching. Oh! More dangerous to me. <laughs> They live in another world. They live in another world. The funniest thing is the tweet uh, today from the Cambridge person trying to um, trying to trying to get that councillor to lose his job, and uh, someone pointed out the shall we say bad optics of a bunch of privileged Cambridge students trying to get a porter fired because he won't say the magic words <laughs> that make that make uh, uh, biology not real, <laughs> and. Um, they're trying to get him fired, and someone pointed out, you know, all these oiks, you know, uh, posh poshos, all these fucking poshos trying to get a porter fired. You know, it's unbelievable. And and one of them replies, the this person who wrote a hit piece on the guy, one of them replies, um, actually, some of us has studied have done class studies, <laughs> something like that. It's it's just gold. <laughs> Look out for it. Uh, Nutmeg uh, put, uh, tweeted about it tonight. It's very funny. 
They don't even know. They don't even know, you know? They're just kids. They're just kids being really stupid in a very public way. I mean, part of the problem is... <laughs> part of the problem is... Um, uh, is they just... They're just not... They're the first couple of generations that have grown up with all these idiot things that we all did to, to some extent or other. Some later than than others. I did made a few huge mistakes. Um, and But they're doing it in public. They're doing it in public and they're getting the most embarrassed. That's it. They're getting the most embarrassing uh, stuff just broadcast everywhere. And they're doing it willingly. And they're making Silicon Valley millions, billions of, of, of dollars by doing it. Yeah, happens to a lot of people out here on, on our side. That was a good one as well. I don't know why I ever head for the ball when there's about three people going for it. What, what do we think is going to happen? <laughs> They're just all going to miss it? There we go, that's it. I like that guy's style. Yeah, exactly. Watch this, I'll be flying through the air now in a sec. Me. Oh, that's right. It's okay. Yeah, on the way back. There's a lovely thing that sometimes happens in this game, but you can never predict it. And it's the two... Um, the two players on the right and left and the other players and the other team they hit the ball in such a way that it just stays in the middle and anyone who's waiting behind directly down the line of the goal can just oh can just uh, crack it in it's great crack it in sorry I don't know where I got that phrase <laughs> That's really funny. Ninety five percent. I tell you what, though, I think he's he's going to really open this up to people. You know, I I hope he keeps his job, and I hope they don't fucking little Nazi pricks get him fired. This is not even the game I play most at the moment. The game, ah, god damn it! The game I play mo most at the moment is um, Slay the Spire, which I'm obsessed with. It's a card-based roguelike. So great. <laughs> god, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I, I really don't remember. It was very, um, it was very shared in terms of the individual lines. I don't want to get the men menopause. That was my favourite line in that. <laughs> of course, now, is that funny anymore? G given the new rules of biology we're all supposed to agree on? <laughs> Owen McLove is exactly the type of person who'd say, I can get the menopause too. <laughs> Am 
95%. It's the only way they can make things look like there is a majority um, for this stuff. The only reason... Uh, the only reason it, it, it wasn't 5% is because people don't really know what they're, they're voting for. People don't know what they're saying. They're going to know this week after the prison story. The prison story is going to be big. Come on. Yes. I went into my own little world there. They could score two more goals, so I'm staying back here. Where I could do most damage. Uh, football, Artie. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> they said that before it came up. Um, I didn't really know. I was never very good at it. I, I, I quickly became. Oh Christ! I quickly became. Um, uh, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like football. I, I, I couldn't. I didn't know how to get good at it. So I, I. Gave it up. Like, I was pretty good at tennis. And when I say pretty good, I only mean I, I was good enough to enjoy it. I really did enjoy it. <gasps> I told you! No! I told you! Tennis is a really fun game. But my problem now is I can't serve. I've lost the ability to serve. I throw the ball in the air, it comes down wherever it wants to go. I, I'm terror. I don't know what happened. I totally lost the knack. And I can't go back to hitting it underarm like a, you know, like a baby. Like a baby being taught how to play tennis. A toddler. <laughs> I got into squash for a while. I liked, I liked that. Um, uh, I, I liked that quite a lot. But it was. I find it kind of annoying how heavy the ball is because it doesn't give. It bounces a bit. I don't know. You have to really hit the bloody thing for it to bounce at all. And... No, no. I, what am I saying? Of course. Yes. Of course it works. It's a hugely popular game. <laughs> no, I did enjoy it. I don't know what I'm talking about, the bounce of the ball. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's like one of those really macho games. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you a game of... Uh, I'll show you Rainbow Six. Because, uh, I mean, I'm 